Spring is the hey you guys, today we are making chongak kimchi, or the other way to say is altarimu kimchi. Um, this kimchi making journey started a little while back from my garden, so let's rewind the time a little bit. Make sure you use a uh, kosher, good quality sea salt for this salting process. A quality of salt will decide either your vegetable that you are making kimchi will get sweet or bitter. Spray some water. Oh! <laughs> See, I didn't Now we are going to salt them for about two to three hours, uh, depending on the temperature and depending on how big your altarimu, the radishes are. And you can find them very easily from Korean grocery store like H Mart. So while this is salting, we're gonna go inside and make the kimchi paste. So my chonggangmu, the altarimu, is salting really well right now. Uh, it's been about an hour and a half, I believe. I flip them over in a half way so they can like salting nice and evenly. And now I just made my flour porridge. Yes, it's not rice flour, just regular all-purpose flour porridge. Uh, so in, during the summertime, well, I know this is not summer season, but Hawaii is a hot weather. And this kind of like a hot weather kimchi, we usually, well, not we, my mom usually make flour porridge like this instead of a rice porridge. Um, but where you add is in the winter time right now or fall time, go ahead and use maybe leftover white rice that you have in the fridge that will ac actually work great for this kimchi paste too um, because we are adding either flour porridge or rice flour porridge or rice like that to the kimchi paste to help the fermentation of kimchi so i just made a quick tashima and shiitake mushroom broth then i added all-purpose flour and whisk them and cook them about three to four minutes or until the flour is fully cooked then you get consistency like this and don't worry about having a little lump as long as they are fully cooked they're fine because we're gonna 
blend up in a blender anyways, okay? Don't worry about the lumps too much. But honestly, I think I made a little too much porridge for this recipe. So on the text, it will be only half amount of what I made. Go ahead and bring a blender. Add 15 to 16 cloves of garlic, a little bit of ginger, and some apple, and some onion, and yandu. Porridge I made. Let's close the lid and we are going to blend them up. All right, the base of our kimchi paste is ready to go. Now all we have to do is cut up some green onions and rinse off our chongangmu. You need to rinse the salted chongangmu at least three times. They're draining over here. Let it drain and while it's draining, we are going to finish our kimchi sauce. So pour this kimchi sauce base into a large mixing bowl. And by the way, I forgot a couple of ingredients in the base. So I'm gonna just add it after I pour in here, okay? Some meshirek, Korean green plum extract. Um, if you cannot find the meshirek, you can actually use apple juice instead, like apple cider or apple juice will work amazing and some sugar. So let's just start with about a tablespoon of salt. And gochugaru, Korean red pepper flakes. Mix this well. Taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Maisto. Okay. Wipe off your spoon with the salted chongangmu. Add drained chongangmu into the kimchi sauce. Like that. And the green onions. And digging with your hand. I cannot believe I raised these little babies. <laughs> this is why I wanted the farmland. I'm not really that good at taking care of this big of land, but I do what I can do in my little garden though. <laughs> Literally this morning, they were in the soil. Right now, they're in my mixing bowl. Ah, the energy of this fresh vegetables from your own garden is unbelievable. Mm. 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 It's gonna so good when they when they are like fermented. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's gonna be so good mm. after farming. Can you go get me the container? My kimchi container. There is uh, two ways to store chongga kimchi, which is you just put it like this, like how my mom do. There's a little more fancy way, which is uh, like you grab one and wrap the radish with the, their own tail. But because of I don't have really long leaves, because what do you call it? A caterpillar ate all my good leaves, so I'm just gonna, you know, store it like this. <laughs> 그냥 이렇게 막, 막 담을 때는 머리가 헝클어지지 않게만 그냥 조심해서 담아주시면 돼요. 나중에 꺼내 먹을 때 편하게 귀신 머리처럼 안 되게. <웃음> Damn okay. Hey, would you not? <웃음> give me, give me some personal space so I can do what I need to do. You can buy a kimchi container like this. This one is it came with my kimchi refrigerator, but you can purchase something like this from H Mart or Amazon. You can just search for kimchi container, okay? Oh my God. Mm, 맛있어. 
Place in an airtight container and let it ferment in the kitchen counter at least to two days. Then place in the refrigerator to, uh, you know, just slow down the fermentation progress and it will be just ready to dig in. What I like to do is actually do like two to three days of fermenting, fermenting in the kitchen counter, then put in the refrigerator and ferment little like about a month more and then start eating it. That's what, what I like to do, but it's, it's up to you however you want to do. If you liked my chongak kimchi recipe, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more delicious, authentic, plant-based Asian recipes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys! <laughs>